I'm Gary Mechgen, City Manager for Farmington Hills. We'd like to welcome you to our newest communications tool, a monthly video where we highlight some of the news and events going on in our city. Each of our departments are currently undertaking projects and initiatives to help maintain our status as a first-class city with an exceptionally high quality of life. After some severe storms this past summer, I wanted to take the opportunity to let our residents know that we are actively working with DTE to ensure that we have reliable power in our community. We will keep you updated as we continue our discussions with DTE to determine their plan for the electrical system in Farmington Hills. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call me at 248-871-2500, or you can simply stop by the city manager's office at City Hall. Now, let's get caught up with the latest news. Here's Lauren Turner. Hello, and welcome to Farmington Hills In Focus. I'm your Hills host, Lauren Turner. Mark your calendars and come join the fun at the Farmington Hills Citywide Open House on Sunday, October 3rd from noon to 3 p.m. on the City Hall campus. That's 31555 West 11 Mile Road at the corner of 11 Mile and Orchard Lake. Now here are just a few of the fun things kids can do at the free open house. Kids can climb on fire trucks, try on a firefighter's uniform, and run through an obstacle course. Meet Dozer the canine police dog, visit the crime scene lab, and tour the dispatch center. Have you ever jumped behind the wheel of a dump truck? Well, you can. Or decorate a snowplow and enter to win your own personal street sign. Bounce over to the moonwalk, do a craft project, play games, and get your face painted. Here's a quick look at some of the things you need to know about the city of Farmington Hills for the month of September. Applications to obtain an absent voter ballot for the November 2nd, 2021 election in Farmington Hills will be mailed out to all voters who requested to be on the city's permanent applicant list. As a reminder, the permanent list allows voters to receive applications for an absent voter ballot prior to every election. By law, an application must be completed prior to every election before a ballot can be mailed. If you have any questions on election information, contact the city clerk's office at 248-871-2410. The brand new Farmington Hills Community Center, also known as The Hawk, is now open to the public. Let's take a look inside. The ribbon is cut and the hawk is open. Come on in. Let's go check out the fitness center. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Welcome to the fitness center. Come on in. Thank you. Am I doing it right? <laughs> how big are those weights you got? 30? Oh my 40. gosh. What do you think of the Hawks so far? Uh, I think it's really cool, actually. I am here with Amaya, and her favorite part of this whole thing is the slide. Amaya, it's my favorite part, too. All right, I'm here with Katie, a lifeguard. How's your first day open to the public? Good. Good? What's been your favorite part so far? Interacting with the community. Yeah. So how was training? Like, how long did you have to train before you started? A month. A month of training, awesome. So guys, you're in good hands and your kids are in good hands with Katie. Thank she you. Throws the ball. <laughs> this is the first day that the Hawk is open to the public. You're here in the gym, are you having fun? Yes. Have you been around everywhere yet? Or yeah. just Yesterday I took a, a tour. And story. came back today, yeah. Awesome. Why'd you come back today? Because it's it seems so much fun, and it's awesome. And I, I'm glad I got somewhere to play basketball now. After a long, fun day here at the Hawk, stop by our concession stand. We have pizza, pretzels, slushies, and so much more. We'll be back soon with more Hawk updates. I had so much fun making that video. It truly is a great community center. Did you know that just one donation of blood can save up to three lives? The American Red Cross will sponsor a blood drive on Wednesday, September 15th from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. 
at the Caustic Center, located at 28600 West 11 Mile Road between Middle Belt and Inkster in Farmington Hills. This blood drive will feature the annual Battle of the Badges, a friendly competition between the Farmington Hills Police and Fire Department. Donors can cast a vote with their blood donation to help raise the tally of either department. To make an appointment to donate on September 15th, call 248-473-1800, or you can register online at redcrossblood.org, enter the sponsor code Caustic Center, and follow the instructions to set up your appointment. Looking for a way to volunteer in your Farmington Hills? The Meals on Wheels program could use a few good drivers. Hop behind the wheel and do something you'll feel good about and make the day of someone 60 years or better who's unable to prepare their own meals. To volunteer or if you need food assistance, call 248-473-1825 for more information. Now as the summer draws near its end, we want to remind you that there is no garbage pickup on Labor Day, Monday, September 6th, and all city offices will be closed. All garbage, recycling, and yard waste pickups will be delayed by one day during the entire week with Friday's collection made on Saturday. We also want to remind you that the city of Farmington Hills is not only a great place to live, but also a great place to work. If you're looking for a rewarding employment opportunity, check out our website at fhgov.com. Thank you for watching our video and learning more about what's coming up in September in Farmington Hills. For more information, head to our city website, www.fhgov.com, where you can subscribe to the city's newsletter or sign up for free real-time alerts with FH Alert. You can also follow the city on Facebook. Thanks for your interest in the city of Farmington Hills.